The commissioning of the International Container Transshipment Terminal, Vallarpanam, marks the beginning of a new era for India. The nation begins to operate its first major convergence center for transshipment of containers at Cochin. Cochin is the major Indian port situated closest to the international maritime routes. The impressive growth that India has been witnessing demands world-class transport infrastructure. 95% of India's international trade moves on marine transport. Today, nearly 60% of India's container traffic is transshipped at neighboring country ports like Colombo and Singapore, resulting in an additional cost of nearly 300 US dollars per container and 7 to 10 days of additional voyage time. The commissioning of the ICTT ensures faster access to international markets and reduced shipping costs, making our exports globally more competitive. It is estimated that the Indian industry will save over $1 billion on transport costs, with the local consumers also benefiting from the reduced cargo charges. The ICTT has been developed as a public-private partnership PPP between the Cochin Port Trust and DP World, a major terminal operator with global presence. The Honorable Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, laid the foundation stone of the new terminal on 16th February 2005. Thereafter, it was a race against time to ensure the completion of this terminal and the connectivity projects. The realization of this project involved an array of indescribable challenges, both engineering and social. The project implementation was continuously monitored at the highest level by the principal secretary to the prime minister, apart from the secretary and the minister of shipping. The International Container Transshipment Terminal, going operational today, is equipped with state-of-the-art equipment key cranes, RTGs and reach stackers. To begin with, the project will have a capacity of 1 million TEUs, which will rise to 4 million TEUs annually. The Cochin Port Trust has been carrying out the capital dredging of the channels to ensure the drafts required for the largest container vessels afloat. The connectivity to the terminal to all parts of India has been enhanced by a new four-lane link road connecting national highways 17, 47 and 49. The National Highway Authority of India has constructed this 17-kilometer long connectivity spanning a series of 12 bridges. At this point in time, two lanes have already been completed with the remaining two lanes to be completed shortly. A rail connectivity to the National Rail Network has also been completed by the public sector Rail Vikas Nigam Limited. This rail link of 8 kilometers includes the longest rail bridge in India. The vast inland waterways of Kerala are linked to the port logistic chain by a set of Roro terminals set up by the Inland Waterways Authority of India. Cochin Port is the first e-port in the country with its comprehensive ERP implementation. It also operates a state-of-the-art vessel traffic management system to ensure the highest levels of navigational safety and security. A large spectrum of major projects are coming up in proximity to the ICTT. This includes the port-based special economic zone and the LNG terminal. In the first phase, DP World has invested approximately 1,600 crore rupees, while the Government of India has invested 1,650 crore rupees on supporting infrastructure projects. Here, the Cochin port will handle all the shipping operations, while DP World will handle the container operations. The project will usher tremendous spin-off effects. The success of the project reinforces our conviction that India will meet the various challenges successfully 
in its pursuit to become the most vibrant economy in the world. Cochin Port has the satisfaction of having implemented this world-class mega project on schedule.